Mr. Chairman, Excellencies, dear colleagues and friends, as you can see, I am overwhelmed by the trust you are putting in me in electing me for the second time as director of the Radio Communication Bureau. I would like to express my profound gratitude to all of you and the governments you represent, in particular to the government of France, which proposed and supported my candidacy. Also, I would like to express my gratitude to my beloved wife, Dorothée. It's been a privilege to serve you during these four years, a privilege and a great pleasure, and to work with all of you for achieving the goals of the ITU and the objectives of its radio communication sector. This work has been greatly facilitated by the outstanding quality of the relationship between the five elected officials of the Union. It has been an honor to work under the inspiring leadership of Hamadoun Touré, my friend, and in very close cooperation with Hunin Zhao, Malcolm Johnson, and Brahim Asanu, who are also my friends, and to work as one team and one ITU. During these four years, remarkable results have been achieved by the ITU radio communication sector in delivering and managing the frequency spectrum worldwide, in adopting standards and best practices, and in disseminating information and know-how to the entire ITU membership. A lot, however, remains to do to ensure that the management of spectrum and orbit resources by the ITU continues to feed the development of radio communications and connectivity to all citizens of the world. I am deeply honored to benefit from your support to continue this work together with all of you for another four years to pursue this objective. You can be assured that I will devote all my strength and efforts to this mesmerizing task. Thank you very much.